Good morning, Keller Williams. Welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge, Day 30. And today we are going to discuss the Opportunity Detail page. So we've been talking about uh, creating opportunities, setting up our custom stages, moving our opportunities. Now we're going to start diving into the actual opportunity itself. So in order to do so, we're going to come into the Opportunities applet, sixth one down. It's the handshake icon. And we're going to go find the opportunity that we created. So uh, let's say that we have a meeting with Mr. Al Pacino. And he's told us that he wants to list a property. He was not very specific about it. And so we have gone on the meeting. Turns out we have won the right to work with him. And so we need to come in and start filling in some details on this actual opportunity. Right now, all we knew was it's Al Pacino and it's a listing. So let's click on the name of the opportunity and you'll see the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to be able to update the details page, right? So this is the details tab. You can see there are multiple boxes here that we can click on the pencil to edit the information included. Now let's say custom tags. We want to add a tag to this opportunity. This is going to end up being a commercial deal. So we're going to create a commercial tag for this opportunity and we'll have that as a custom tag. Uh, right now there is no co-seller. We are going to actually move this to active. Uh, probably need some staging. We are probably in the one month mark. Um, it's going to be an interesting property. So I think we probably will not close until the end of September if I had to guess. Now appointment scheduled. We scheduled the actual appointment last week, meaning that last week he called on Monday and I said, when are you available to meet? And he said, let's do next Monday. So the appointment scheduled was the 21st is when we scheduled it and we scheduled it for the 28th. We went on the appointment on Monday. Yesterday he called us back and said, yep, you're the guy. So we won the agreement on the 29th and today we signed paperwork. So we're not under contract yet and we certainly aren't closed. But it is important that we put in these appointments scheduled, appointment date and agreement one dates because in reports, you actually have the ability to track your appointment taken to, or uh, appointment gone on to agreement signed to agreement one. There's several different things we can track inside of reports and they all pivot upon us actually adding in these dates. So again, appointment scheduled is what day did they call in and you scheduled an appointment on. Appointment date is what date did you schedule it for. So there's a chance that those could be the same, but typically appointment scheduled would never come before the appointment date. So appointment scheduled was the day they called in and I scheduled them something. Appointment date is the date that I scheduled them for. Agreement one is when we actually got the final notice. Paperwork signed, we're gonna to get to work with these clients. Estimated list price on this, I believe is 695,000 and Al's gonna be a good guy, he's gonna pay us the full 3% commission. So I can now click on save and you can see that the opportunity details, the general information have been updated. <laughs> Excuse me, the next thing that we wanna take a look at is the actual property. Now we've got two different ways that we can fill in this information. You can see at the top here, we've got select from listings or we can click on the pencil and enter the information. I usually recommend it's best to actually select the listing if it's already live. So we can actually come in here and we're going to search for all listings and Al Pacino wants to sell it, wants us to sell his Italian restaurant. So if we search for Italian restaurant, you can see that ironically enough, there are a lot of Italian restaurants, but we want to only see the one that is for sale. And sure enough, here it is popular Italian restaurant. We're going to select this listing. So now you can see because we have selected that listing, we get the address, the city, the state and the zip code. Okay. So if this wasn't correct, we could come in and edit this and say, oh, we forgot the house number. It's actually uh, 22 popular Italian restaurant drive. And let's resave that. Oops. The zip code didn't save. Let's come in and actually put in a zip code. And maybe it's one, two, three, four, five. Now we've got the correct details for that listing associated with this opportunity. Finally, you do have the ability to create a seller's worksheet. 
and you can come in and edit any of this information. The buyer's agent, we are going to pay 3%. Uh, we are going to estimate closing costs at 1.5%. Uh, then you could go through and get some additional information on mortgage balances, prorated HOA dues, prorated taxes, and show the net on offer comparison. So we're going to go ahead and save that for right now. And finally, we could come down and do a description of this opportunity. Amazing lakeside venue with 40 plus tables, pool, bar, and restaurant grade kitchen. All right, so there's our commercial opportunity. I can click on save. And now I have all of the details portion of this opportunity now filled out ready to move on to the other tabs included in the opportunity. So again, always really important that you get these dates filled in, that we've got the correct estimated list price and commission rate. This will help us to calculate our uh, commissions in the pipeline as well. We've got the property entered correctly and our seller's worksheet filled out. That's it for today, guys. The details tab of opportunities. Tomorrow, we're going to begin diving into the documents tab. So get ready for that.